If you were taking your regular journey on the tube and another passenger in your carriage collapsed and was in need of first aid, would you know what to do? That's what happened to me the other day here on a central line carriage when a woman sitting opposite me suddenly collapsed and fell onto the floor. I ended up relying on knowledge from a basic first aid course that I'd taken when in the Boy Scouts over 30 years ago. But it helped, it worked and the woman lived. But to refresh my knowledge, I went down to a St John Ambulance Save a Life September stand at Liverpool Street Station. I met Clive, who was giving demonstrations, who explained why people are often reticent to help out. The main reason people don't want to get involved in first aid is they're always afraid they're going to do something that's going to make the situation worse. The fact of the matter is, if you've got someone that's not breathing, there is nothing you are going to do that is going to make that situation worse. St John's are currently running a hard-hitting TV campaign to highlight the importance of first aid skills. Our current campaign identifies the fact that as many people are dying from cancer as die from situations where first aid could have saved their life. We want to encourage people to take up first aid training, get the guidance, get our pocket guide and step in and do something and hopefully not so many people will die. Clive took me through the basics of how to identify okay. if someone is breathing and when and how to give CPR if right. necessary. You want to push straight down about five to six centimetres on the chest. Okay. So you need to push at a rate of about 100 to 120 beats a minute. So it's a nice steady rhythm. You just keep going steady all the time. Okay, shall I have a go? And we're going to do 30 of them. 30? 30. Wow, okay. Right, so where so, you go? And so one. This was just a brief three. overview though. And full day and half day courses are available if you want to get yourself properly trained up. If people want to know more, then what they'll do is come to our website, have a look. We're not saying you need to do a four-day course or whatever. Just do any sort of training, something that's going to give you the confidence and the chance to practice doing first aid. And hopefully that will encourage more people to actually do first aid when it's needed. And hopefully that figure we've got of 140,000 people a year dying unnecessarily may start to reduce. If you can't afford to get yourself onto a course, you can still pick up this, their free guide which they give out from their website. Or well, how about this, a smartphone app which tells you everything you need to know. Next time you get on a tube train, you might find yourself in a situation where you can save someone's life.